Toondo.com is basically Make Believe's comics multiplied by a thousand. So there are a lot more fe- a lot more features available to you, more characters, more backgrounds. Um, so let's take a look at Toondo real quick. Give you just a thumbnail sketch of how it works. First thing you're going to have to do is when you go to Toondo, students will have to register and create their own account. Um, one thing to note is as they are registering, that process sometimes is a little bit slow. So we remind them to look at their screen to see if the sc- if it's loading or if it says it's waiting. Um, sometimes they'll get a little antsy and they'll try to click again and make another account. And before they knew, know it, it says, oh, your account's already been used by someone. And then they get kind of stuck in that process. Once you're finally logged in, though, um, you have lots of different options. We're going to go just through the basic creation of a tune do. So under tunes, you have create a tune or up here in the upper right, you have create. You'll click on that and it will take you to a screen where you choose your layout. You'll see you have more layout options than you would in something like Make Believe Comics. So I'm going to go with a vertical layout such as this. All right, it takes a few seconds to load up. And then you'll see right away, it starts loading everything that I need. And you can see already by looking, we have a lot more options than we did in uh, Make Beliefs. So under the untitled up here, students will put their title with their name. On the left, they have the backgrounds, the characters, the props, all the texts. Um, they can make their own characters as well down here. Um, so if you really want to get in, into all that, again, kind of goes back to how you're using this. Um, you know, it's a fun program, but we really want to tie it into content and, and creating something that we know is going to support our, our engagement and our creativity. Um, so I'm going to go in, choose a background. They are by category. Um, so I'm going to choose something. Let's say I'm doing a comic that's set in space. And just for the sake of time, I'm going to drop that in. On this program, it is a drag and drop. So just be aware of that. And you'll see there's also an option here to copy from one panel to another. So I'll use that. I'm going to go back to my characters. And I'm going to choose this little... Eh, I was going to choose the bear guy. Here, let's, let's choose the bear guy. This looks good. I'll drag him in drag and drop. And you'll see my my tools are at the bottom. Um, in this program, I do select the character or the object first. And then I go down to the bottom and I shrink, enlarge, I can clone, I can flip, um, I can rotate, I can do all sorts of stuff. Um, I also have different emotions. And sometimes they'll have different postures. Um, let's see if we can find one who has a different posture. There we go. So sometimes the different postures will give them different props to use, etc. All right. Um, I'm going to now go ahead and jump to my text box. What I like about Toondo is it has the option to, hopefully it still has that option. Oh, maybe they don't have that option anymore. They used to have the option to, to resize um, not only your bubble, but you could also move your tail. Okay, so you can still move your tail um, and put it exactly where you need to put it. And again, I need to kind of shrink that down a little bit. And then I would type my text in here. This is easier than I thought. All right, and then I have to move my bubble, et cetera. All right, so Toondo, another great option. Um, as far as saving, um, you'll be able to save these as you go. Um, under the Toondo Start Here button, there'll be an option to save, save as. Um, and then just make sure the next day students would go back to Toondo and on that main screen, they will see their tunes underneath here, my Toondo's, or um, they can always go back to that create and then just open from there.